Hi guys, um, welcome to today's lesson. Um, last time on GCP, we learned how to sign up and launch a VM compute instance and then SSH into that instance. Today we're just gonna do a really quick lesson where we learned to create a bucket, which is kind of the, the simple object storage um, in GCP. So I'm on the console here and I'm gonna create a new project to do this. I can do this via the create project uh, down the right hand side or if you're anywhere else on the console, you can click there, click up the top left, click new project and ask you for some details. So I'm just gonna call this bucket demo as my project. Johnny Chivers, Johnny Chivers, and create. It takes a few seconds as usual. And once it's fired up, it will bring us to the project console. Okay, that's us on the project console. Um, the next thing we wanna do then is create the bucket itself. So if we go up to the top in the search bar and we type in bucket, um, we want to create a bucket, so it's one of the options. First option that appears. First thing we need to do is give a name for our bucket. Uh, I'm just going to call mine demo hyphen um, Johnny hyphen shivers hyphen bucket. And then we want to continue. Uh, so you've got a couple of options. You can store it in a region. Um, you can store it in a couple of regions or multi-region. Um, I'm going to store it in multi-regions in the European Union because that's where I am. Um, if you've got a uh, residency issues, then you select a region and then you can just select uh, a single region that you want to store it in. Or if you have data residency issues, but you can keep it within one country. So for example, in the US there, I can keep it in Iowa and South Carolina, then you can choose dual region. I'm just going to keep it multi-region um, for now because I don't have any data uh, residency, residency issues. So I'm just going to click continue. We'll just keep it in the standard class. Uh, we'll, we'll keep the access control um, as uniformed. Um, continue and then we'll just leave it as a default and we'll create that bucket. As you can see, when you're here, you have several options. You've got your objects, the upload, configuration, which we just did, our permissions if we want to change it, uh, retention, so how long the objects stay there, and then the life cycle of the bucket where you can move it through the different um, standard storage classes into cold storage um, as, as it gets older and you don't need the object as much. But let's keep it simple and do upload files. Let's just upload one of my YouTube thumbnails. You click OK, starts to upload. That's a complete, and as you can see, it's there and readily available. Gives you a little sample gives you the URL that you can reach the image. Obviously, because it's not public, you have to have permissions to reach that image. And then it gives you the information of said image, the type, the size, and where it was created. Um, and then obviously I've encrypted that with the Google Manage key. Um, that's very basics of how to create a bucket in uh, GCP and get started. Um, as usual, I'll make all this information for free on my website, www.johnnychevers.co.uk. And until next time, thanks for watching.